Goodbye, Oliver Sar. So I'm going to say this first. Oliver Sar, he only got waived because he suffered an injury and he had to get surgery for it. And his injury has taken a lot longer to recover from. And this has led to them signing the man. A lot of you guys probably know him from 2K. He used to be one of the top recruits coming out. And so Ibu Baji. Hopefully I said that correctly. Someone tell me how to say it correctly down below. But yeah, so Oliver Sar, he got cut because he had a high grade partial tear of a ligament in his right wrist and it's taking longer to recover. So they waived him and they signed Ibu Baji, who's been dominating the G League in seven games, 17 minutes per night, almost 18. He's averaged seven and a half points with 6.6 .6 rebounds, one and a half assists with two and a half blocks while shooting 62% from the field. Okay. And he's just been dominant out there and it's been very fun, very fun to watch the guy. And it, hey, he's made every three point shot he's attempted so far. But look, this is a guy who's seven foot one. They signed him to a two way deal. He's been one of the better shot blockers outside of the NBA, but he only played for Barcelona's B team because he only appeared on Barcelona's A squad for four games over two years. He primarily played for the Barcelona 2, which is in the Spanish third league, where he put up most of the stats that we knew about. Now, Baji is a guy who's from Senegal. He's got a six, seven foot nine wingspan on it, almost seven foot two frame. He's like 240, I believe it was, 230. <laughs> and he's a good player. He's a good player. He's 20 years old. He's a guy who could develop into a decent, you know, rim protector. I've seen got websites like nba draft room try to throw dikembe matambo out there i think a better comparison would be you know what was that guy's name alexis angic and i don't even remember he played for the pelicans i think that's a good comparison Aless alexa uh, Ale alexis alexis and Jinka, he played for like the Bobcats, the Mavs and stuff. That's a good comparison, in my opinion, who Baji could be, which is a guy who's got this quick twitch athleticism and a good chiseled frame. And he was in the 2021 NBA draft. Like he was a prospect that I remember that was being looked at, but he ended up pulling out of the draft because he saw that he wouldn't have been drafted that high. And that probably was the good move for him. But yeah, it was definitely interesting to see how he's came along and he did a good job in Europe, but he's a guy who's definitely a good job at staying vertical, blocking shots without fouling. He's an anchor. Okay. He's a way better athlete than Taco Fall, another tall guy. And his impact as a shot blocker should be felt immediately. The problem is, is his offensive game is very raw, but he shows the making of having a decent jump shot and ball handling skills. He's, and he's got, he's a decent power passer. So for his size. And I think, again, he's a guy who's going to be kind of like an Alexis Anjinka who played for the Pelicans, you know, the, the the Raptors, the Mavericks, the Bobcats. So um, I think he could be a better version of that guy. So I think there there's room for Baji to be a successful NBA player. It just might be a little longer than, take a little longer than most people would expect. That's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think of his game? And... Was there anything I might have missed that you guys would have liked to hear about? Like, comment, subscribe. I'm posting more videos later. And if there was anything else that you guys would have liked to hear, that's let me know because that's basically it. I'm, but yeah, so goodbye, everybody. This is the NBA videos coming to the end. So you should click off because i'm editing at this point what we're talking about that's why there's a lot of clicks and i don't know what minute marker we're at where we got like 30 seconds to kill but yeah it's not like he's gonna get drew eubanks is in front of it i'm not saying drew eubanks is better but drew eubanks is doing a bit better so yeah i think it's interesting also twitter Hasn't really changed. Anyone who says Twitter's changed since Elon's taken over is lying. This shit's the same app. And if you got a problem with it, then you're an idiot. Bye. Bye.